Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is Thursday of the first week of Advent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Roof Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your peace. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? the man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Who is He, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Please be seated. Awake, lie, and harp. With praise, let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May He send from heaven and save me, and shame those who sail me. May God send His truth and His love. My soul lies down among lions, who will devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a serpent sword. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in the themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim in it in all this time's cause, and says, Who has scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. He shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. 
the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen, they themselves shall be like water gardens, never again they shall they you languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them from their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priest, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion to all of the earth, the great king's city, God in the midst of its citadels, is shown himself a stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, which is the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgment. Walk through Zion, walk all around it. Count the number of its towers. Review its all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength, that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give, you th I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please stand. Seek 
the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you O Lord Jesus said to his disciples not everyone who says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my father in heaven everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them, will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the home, the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine, but does not act on them, will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. There are many common expressions in English that somehow say the same thing or similar things, similar lessons. Um, here are a few. Ming sinasabi minsan, talk is cheap. I don't know if you've heard of it. Siguro marami sa atin nakarinig, narinig na yan. Siya sabi, talk is cheap. Sibiyan, don't just talk about it, do something. You don't just brag about something, you do, you do it. Huwag ka lang daldal lang ng daldal. Gawin mo, pakita mo, patunayan mo. Talk is cheap. Also, you can say, uh, walk the talk. Siya sabi yan, lalo yan sa mga teachers, sa mga preachers. Walk the talk. Ano yung siya sabi mo? I, sa buhay mo, ito pa rin mo, gawin mo. Meron pa, sabi, <clears throat> put your money where your mouth is. Diba? Put your money where your mouth is. Ibig sabihin ko yung sinasabi mo, eh, bigyan mo ng value. Put your money there. Ibig sabihin, tayaan mo. Put your money where your mouth is. And the most, siguro pinaka, ano yan, pinaka obvious, don't just say it. Do it. These are common expressions, but the messiahs have been among us. But they mean basically the same thing, and it's the same thing that the gospel is telling us today. This is the main message of the gospel, but it's the gospel is telling us this instruction. You know, uh, don't just talk about it. Do it in in terms of um, as a tip as a clue, as an instruction to be able to enter the kingdom of heaven. Kaya yun yung mas importante. Bakit? Bakit kailangan uh, gagawin ko ano yung sinasabi? Bakit kailangan gawin ko ano yung napakinggan? Kasi we want to enter the kingdom of heaven. To enter the kingdom of, the kingdom of, the kingdom of heaven, we need to listen and to act on what we have listened, what we have heard. Um, kaya nga sinasabi sa, sa gospel, di ba? Uh, call on the Lord. We have to call on the Lord. But that's good to call on the Lord, to say, Lord, Lord. But that's not enough. Yun ang sinasabi ng gospel. Hindi enough na tumawag ka lang ng tumawag. Panginoon, Diyos ko, Diyos ko. But you're not doing anything about it. So bali wala. It just echoes into, into nothingness, into the wilderness. No? Tawag ka lang tawag. Tawag ka lang, tawag ka lang, bawa, tatay, nanay, mommy, daddy. Pero wala ka lang, wala ka namang galang. <laughs> Hindi mo naman tinitreat as mother and father yung, yung mga magulang. So it doesn't mean anything. 
So, ang sinasabi, calling on the Lord as Lord and recognizing God as Jesus as the Lord and Savior. They're good. But not good enough. Not enough. They're good, but not enough. Ano siya yung sabi ni Jesus sa atin? Mismo si words ni Jesus yun, di ba? Yung sinabi sa gospel. Words si Jesus and He says that only those who do the will of the Father in heaven will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who do the will of the Father in heaven will enter the kingdom of heaven. And sabi din, He who listens to the words of Jesus and acts on them. So, who listens and acts on the words of Christ. You'll be like a person, a wise person, who built his house on rock. See, matatag. Matatag yung iyong pananampalataya. Matatag yung iyong spiritual life. Matatag yung iyong Christian life. Because you have listened to the words of Jesus and you've acted on them and that will bring you to the kingdom of heaven. It's a twin action. To in action, listening and acting. Hindi pwedeng listen lang. Kasi nga, kung listen lang, eh, just an information overload. Basa ka ng basa ng Bible, pakinig ka ng pakinig ng misa, ng mga lecture-lecture, but you're not doing anything about them. It's just an information overload. Puro lang yung information na, pumapas- na pinapakinggan natin, no? Doesn't, doesn't lead us to any, any good. Kung hanggang listening lang. But the gospel of Jesus tells us, listen and act on the words of God, on the words of Christ. Act on them. Importante to act on them. Why? Kasi yung, imp- yung action na yun, to act on the, what we have listened to, to act on what we have heard, presupposes, presupposes that we trust the person who has been talking to us that we trust the person, the authority of the words that, have, that we have heard. Di ba? Bakit mo susundin kung hindi mo naman pinagkakatiwalaan? May instruction, do not enter. Sasabihin mo sa sarili, well, hindi yung totoo, pasok ka. So you did not fulfill, you, know, you did not do what you have listened to, what you have heard, what you have read. You don't trust what you have read. Hindi ka naniwala, binaliwala mo. You disregarded what you have heard, therefore you don't act on them. And that's why acting on what we have listened to simply presupposes na may tiwala tayo. We trust the person that, have, that has said something to us. And so in, in our uh, this reflection today, to be able to listen and accept what we have heard and to be able to act on them, says to God, I trust you, Lord. I trust you. And I will live by your word. I will change all the wrong things that I'm doing according to your word, according to your will, according to your example. Example in Jesus. We trust in God. Kaya nga, sabi ni Prophet Isaiah dun sa first reading, trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord is an eternal rock. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord is an eternal rock. It is good to trust in the Lord, to listen and to act on His word. Why? It will lead us no less than the kingdom of heaven. Imagine if every day, if everything that we do is based on what the Lord has has said to us, on what we have heard about, that Jesus tells us, that God tells us, that God instructs us, that the Holy Spirit whispers to us to do the good things that the Lord wants, they'll definitely lead us to the kingdom of heaven. And it's important because heaven is God's home. And heaven is our destination. To listen, to act, because we trust in God. Let us all stand on. Confident that He will grant us what we ask for, we make our prayer to God the Father with a sincere heart. After each petition we say, Loving Father, 
hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That the Pope, <coughs> bishops, priests, and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That politicians and all those who serve in government may be faithful to their promises and obligations. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That our faith may find solid ground in our examples rather than in our words. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That all of us who handle duties and responsibilities may carry out our task efficiently. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, <coughs> and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the, the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions, Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That our departed relatives and friends may finally receive the, their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Father, you are our strength in time of need. Open our hearts to your grace and lead us into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness you have this received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed that his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. <coughs> and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, <coughs> with all the hosts, and powers of heaven. We sing the hymn of your glory, 
as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord Himself has taught us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on, earth, on earth as it is, it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation. temptation but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I'm not Lord, worthy. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. I shall wait for my Lord and Savior and point him out when he is near. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has reserved for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, 
to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I shall, I shall wait, wait for my Lord and Savior, and, Savior, and point, point him out when he is near. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass ascended, we go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed, and those who use them be made holy, I say, fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.